So today in this lecture, we are going to discuss the role of lymphatic system in controlling interstitial fluid protein concentration, interstitial fluid volume and interstitial fluid pressure. How the lymphatics basically control the interstitial fluid protein, interstitial fluid volume and interstitial fluid pressure. So basically we have discussed the basics of lymphatic system and this is going to be the last lecture in the lymphatic system and we have discussed again and again and again that at the capillary level, at the capillary level the blood basically has four different forces. Three different forces are trying to take the plasma out of the capillary into the interstitial spaces. Here we have the interstitial interstitium, the interstitial spaces, the interstitial fluid and here we have the capillary. So on both sides we have the interstitial fluid or the interstitium. Three forces, the capillary pressure, it is pushing the plasma, it is pushing the, the fluid in the blood out of the capillary. The interstitial free fluid pressure is also trying to pull the fluid out of the capillary. In the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure, which is basically due to the proteins present in the interstitium, it is also trying to pull the fluid out of the capillary into the interstitium, into the interstitium here. And the, the biggest force that is trying to pull the liquid or the plasma or the fluid from the interstitium into the capillary is the plasma colloid osmotic pressure. Basically, it is basically trying to take the fluid from the interstitium into the capillary. It is all of them are trying to push it out into the interstitium and the plasma colloid osmotic pressure which is basically due to the proteins in the capillary or in the blood it is trying to pull the fluid. Now we have discussed that these two pressures on both sides on the arterial side of the capillary and on the inner side of the capillary they are not the same. It is around 28 0.03 and it is around 28 mm of mercury. So it's this pressure is slightly more than this one. So more fluid get uh, into the interstitium and less of uh, a slightly slightly a slightly less amount of fluid remains in the interstitium after being absorbed by the plasma colloid osmotic pressure on the venous side of the capillary. The basic purpose of this whole system is that the fluid should go into the interstitium, the cells should take their nutrients and the waste should go into the venous side and it will be reabsorbed. But during this whole process some, some fluid and some large particles like proteins they get stuck into the interstitium. So large particles like proteins, they get stuck here and they are not able to go into the capillaries back. So for this extra fluid, we have a mechanism known as the lymphatic system and the lymphatic system, the lymphatic vessels, they are lying here and these lymphatic system basically have the lymphatic capillaries and the lymphatic collecting lymphatics and they are basically made of lymphatic vessels. These lymphatic vessels, they are present and they function in such a way that they can carry the large particles and the extra fluid. So, the, the, how the lymphatic system, how this system maintains the concentration of in fluid, uh, protein concentration in the interstitium, how it is controlling the interstitial fluid protein concentration, the interstitial fluid volume and the interstitial fluid pressure. So when fluid starts coming here and protein starts coming out and the protein starts accumulating here, this protein cannot easily go back. So the proteins basically start sucking fluid towards it. We have seen here that the protein here is pulling the water from the or the fluid from the or the plasma from the capillary or the blood into the interstitium and the protein in the capillary is trying to pull the fluid or the plasma from the interstitium into the capillary. So the protein has a pulling power and this pulling power basically pull the fluid into the interstitium. 
when the protein increase in the interstitium it is pulling more and more fluid so the volume of the volume of the fluid the volume of the fluid in the interstitium increases when the volume of the fluid in the interstitium increases it automatically leads to increased interstitial fluid pressure it automatically leads to increased interstitial fluid pressure when the interstitial fluid pressure increases when the interstitial fluid pressure increases the lymph flow the lymph flow automatically increases because we have discussed that when the volume of the interstitial fluid increase the pressure increase so the lymph flow also increase more the interstitial fluid more will be the lymph flow so basically the lymph the lymphatic system the lymphatic system starts taking the fluid and it starts decreasing the volume when it starts taking the protein the starts taking the volume the volume basically starts decreasing when the volume starts decreasing the pressure also starts decreasing and as a, and a time reaches a time comes when a steady state has been achieved a steady state at the steady state the amount of fluid that comes into the interstitium it equals the amount of fluid that is taken away that is taken away by the lymphatics so at that steady state the the fluid or the pressure or the concentration of the protein in the interstitium remains the same and it is not changed it is not changing unless and until a big leakage occur a big leakage occur something occurs at the membrane level which leads to a lot of protein leakage into the interstitium until and unless such a situation occurs at the steady at the steady state the amount of protein the amount of volume of the interstitium the amount of pressure in the interstitium will remain the same or it will not change drastically with the help of the lymphatic system so four forces are occurring uh, playing uh, their role at the level of the capillary the capillary pressure the interstitial free fluid pressure and the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure they are trying to pull the fluid out of the capillary out of the blood into the interstitium the plasma colloid osmotic pressure is trying to pull the fluid or the plasma or the liquid into the blood but these two forces the inward and the outward forces are not equal so somewhat more fluid remains outside the capillary in the interstitium especially large particles like proteins remain outside and they cannot get absorbed when the amount or the concentration of protein outside the uh, blood vessel in the interstitium increases it pulls more fluid more volume more liquid into the interstitium so the interstitial fluid volume increases automatically when the interstitial fluid volume increases it leads to increase in the interstitial fluid pressure when the interstitial fluid pressure increases it automatically leads to increased lymph flow when the in when the lymph flow increases it brings down the interstitial fluid pressure which automatically brings down the interstitial fluid volume and it also brings down the interstitial fluid protein concentration so in that way the lymphatic system a lymphatic system basically a lymphatic system it is basically maintaining the concentration of the protein the interstitial fluid volume and the interstitial fluid pressure in the interstitium and that's that role is being played by the lymphatic system why this role is being played by the uh, lymphatic vessel and not by the uh, blood vessels it's because we have discussed previously that the endothelial cells of the lymphatic system they are operating they are made in such a way that large particles large particles large particle of protein they can come into the into, uh, lymphatic vessel but they cannot go outside the lymphatic vessel so they help in the flow of large particles like proteins which uh, normally cannot go 
easily into the capillaries. So that's all about the lymphatic system, the role of the lymphatic system in the maintenance of interstitial fluid protein concentration, interstitial fluid volume and interstitial fluid pressure. Thanks a lot for watching the video.